What's up, party animals? My name is Kezzy, and, um, I don't, I don't really know what to say. I'm not quitting YouTube. Like, I, this is, this is, just doing this is a dream come true. Being able to find the passion and, you know, put on the fursuit and make a video is so exciting. Uh, every time I get to be in front of this camera, it's, it's just, it's nice, and I'm happy I get to do it, but even still, I have to work, you know, I have to pay rent, I have to pay bills, you know, being an adult still happens in the background, you know, I wear the fursuit to escape it, but it's still part of my day-to-day -day life, you know, I still have to go to my job, and recently at my job I got a promotion, which is, you know, woohoo, great, you know, I'm making more money and I'm doing more things, you know, I'm definitely, I I'm very lucky to be where I'm at at my job now, I'm really excited to get to do more things, I'm doing a lot more than I ever did before at any job, and it's, it's a good feeling. But it's insanely stressful. I was not expecting this new position to be as intensive as it was, you know. I thought I'd be doing, you know, really basic stuff, but I'm now running a whole team of people and making sure everyone does it right. Because the cool thing about being a manager is that if someone on your team screws up, you're the one who's at fault. You can't put it off on your teammates because it was you who failed them. And so it comes back to you. So I'm under a ton of pressure. And on top of that, they've now cut my opportunities for overtime. So now I can't even work over the weekends to make a little bit of extra money to pay for the things that I do. And that hurts because now I'm doing more and I feel like I'm getting less. And it, and it really sucks, it sucks a whole lot. And recently, I got a car. I've been uh, biking everywhere. I'm lucky enough to live close enough to work that I don't need one or didn't need one for the longest time. But I decided that I really wanted to get out more and do things. You know, if you followed my uh, Instagram and my uh, Twitter, you'll know that I have been to some neat places. I took some pictures over by uh, in the mountains and I went to Eastern Oregon. Um, I went to that last blockbuster that everyone's talking about. And while those are great times and I'm so happy to get to do them, I, I expected to have, you know, more overtime at my job. And I expected that like, because I, I, I wanted to do DoorDash. I love that kind of, uh, you know, kind of... I, I love the idea of, you know, making your own hours and just kind of flipping on an app and just getting people food. You know, it really felt productive because I love driving. Driving is just so fun for me. And like, you know, I'll always be the one to offer like, hey, f you know, friends want to go somewhere. I want to be the one to drive them. You know, I'm almost always the designated driver. I always like doing these things and I thought DoorDash would be a perfect fit for me. Before the pandemic, I wanted to do Uber and Lyft, but I'm not putting people in my car before I get a vaccine. However, I got denied DoorDash as well because of a ticket I got five years ago because apparently you need to be a perfect citizen to give someone a hamburger. And I don't understand it and I think it's dumb, but long story short, I don't have the extra income I thought I was going to get. And so that stress of paying my bills, paying for my car, paying for my rent, paying for absolutely everything that I do from day to day on a single income, you know, and I'm doing crazy stuff and I'm definitely not getting paid enough, but you know, that's a whole nother story about how much it sucks to be in this country. But you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot already and, and, and since my new position's driving me up the wall, I bit off a lot more than I could chew. If you remember a while ago, I said, hey, I'm gonna make as much content so I can get burned out as fast as possible. Well, that came a lot sooner than I thought it was gonna, and it sucks. It really, really sucks, because I love doing this kind of stuff. I love making music, I love making videos, but 
I started thinking about it and every day it feels like I have, I must, I'm required to make a video. I'm required to, you know, sit in front of a camera and do these things. I'm required to make music and do all this stuff. And the, the fun of it felt like it just went away. I'm not doing this because it's my job. This is far from my job. This is just something I enjoy doing. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time and I enjoy doing it. But my mindset went to the wrong places and then it became too stressful. And I don't know, I loved the idea of making two videos a week. I, I want to be the YouTuber I wish I had. Um, to watch. So, you know, YouTubers that uploaded frequently were something I enjoyed doing, or enjoyed watching. And the kind of content I make, I really enjoy. Um, I like, I like doing the things I do. However, with everything that's going on in my life all of a sudden, it's just become too much. You know, I have so many ideas for my channel. Um, here in the near-ish future, um, my partner's gonna be getting a fursuit and we're gonna go, uh, drive across a couple states and see if we can do, like, um, music out in the wilderness. You know, park at the peak of a mountain, or at least as high as I can get the car, and, you know, record a neat music video of me jamming out and, you know, playing music free from a studio, if you will. You know, I want to do these kinds of things, and I have, like, a bunch of merch ideas, because there's definitely certain types of furry merch that I wish existed, or really just articles of clothing in general, that I would, I would totally wear it, but it doesn't exist. So I figured, you know, I'll, I'll make it myself, because why not? And getting to those points is difficult especially now that I'm also stressed about my job and I feel like I'm working a million hours a week because I never feel like I can relax and I am definitely rambling uh, but but right now uh, I'm stressed and I'm broke I put all my eggs into this promotion and DoorDash and I thought you know what this is gonna make life easier and everything didn't go as I hoped it would. I don't know what to do. So I'm turning to the camera and right now I just want to take a break. I want to stop making content for a minute and just go back to having fun. And so with all the ideas that I have, with, you know, I, I even have ideas for like a Patreon if I wanted to do that. Um, like a lot of these musicians will release music in special ways. And I have a ton of music that I use for like little clips in my videos. Um, and basically all my music's made by me. So if you hear it in a video, unless otherwise stated, it's my music. And you know, that's not something I'd put on SoundCloud necessarily, because it's these short quips that can be used in specific moments in specific videos. And I want to do, and I want to be able to share that kind of stuff. You know, I want to be able to share like the Ableton projects uh, with anyone who's interested in poking around with music. Because, you know, being able to break down this kind of stuff is cool. And it, it, I have a lot of ideas for what I want to do for this channel's future because I just, I love doing these kinds of things. It's just, it just makes me happy, you know, working on every part of the production process makes me excited. When I was a kid, I tried to start my own video game business uh, where I made games, and I actually made a few. I didn't make any money, but I did make games, and they were kind of neat. Um, uh, again, another future video, uh, playing some of the games that I actually still have access to. I just, I, I, there's so much I want to do. There is so much I want to do with this channel, and, uh, you know, with COVID, and these lockdowns, and the lack of conventions, I feel like it's been halted. I feel like I can't do anything. I feel stuck in this in this room here. You know, there's a reason I'm doing it inside my chair instead of in the corner is because I'm getting tired of having the same backdrop every single video. And I feel like this this would change things up just enough so that I'd be 
I, I, I'd feel like it's just different enough because I feel stuck. And again, that's why I got the car is so I could get out and I could do things, you know, I could drive into the forest and get crazy videos and, you know, different, just different ideas. This kind of outdoorsy stuff, you know, I love doing. So I want to take these like uh, really old forest trails and take them out or, and go out to places that you just, people don't normally get to. Um, if you saw one of my music videos, uh, the top, there's a drone shot flying into me in this like rocky quarry. But, you know, now that everything's fallen through, I'm struggling to be able to do that kind of stuff because I feel stressed all the time. I feel forced to do different things. You know, I feel like I'm not making these videos to have fun, but I'm making these videos because I feel like I have to. And it's just, I, I feel stuck and I just need a minute. I just need a break. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be. I don't know when it's going to be. I want to aim for about two weeks. So this weekend, um, I guess, I don't know if this really counts as a video. It's just kind of like me complaining for a, a while. And I don't know how interested anybody's going to be for that. But I wanted to leave you guys with a request. And I don't, I don't want to be begging. And I feel like I did this to myself. So I feel like, you know, it's just... I feel bad, but uh, all of my, you know, how to become a world famous producer said that sometimes you gotta suck it up and sometimes you gotta sell yourself. So here I am selling myself. I have a coffee and I have a band camp. Uh, those are the only two ways I have of giving me money. On my band camp, you can purchase music to support me and then on my coffee, you can um, just give me money there. And again, everything is already already always free. If you want my music from SoundCloud, you're feel free to download it any way you like. Um, I think there's no minimum on my Bandcamp page, so you're welcome to just download the music for your leisure. Um, normally, I'm considering getting onto Spotify, but I don't really feel like I'm ready for that yet. Uh, but it's just an idea for the future. We'll see how everything goes, but I ask if you could spare a couple bucks, it would definitely help out a lot more. But I can completely understand if you don't want to do that because I'm about to just stop making videos for a couple weeks and why would you give money to someone who's just not working, you know? So as I figure things out, as I take a little break and get my head back on my shoulders, um, I'm just going to be kind of like working on ideas in the background. I want to plan for more ideas that, ah, oh, shit, the battery's dead. Okay, well, the microphone hasn't died, so um, I guess that's just my cue to stop saying words. Um, thanks so much uh, for watching. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you so much, um, and I just thanks so much for your guys' support. It's insane that I'm making, I, I'm, I'm getting subscribers. This is, this is a wonderful experience. Um, so my camera died, my alarm's going off. Um, life's hitting pretty hard all of a sudden, so I gotta get going. Thanks again, and until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.